Good morning, boys and girls and mummies and daddies. I hope you all are being seated very comfortably at home when you are listening to this. My name is Storyteller Athena, and today I'm going to be the storyteller, and all of you at home are going to be my little listeners. And today, I'm going to be telling the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. But before I tell the story, I think we should all do a little bit of stretching together. So can we all raise our hands up as high as possible? And can we all stretch as high up as possible? And now can we all stretch to the left? But do a very good stretch. And now can we stretch to the right? And let's stretch. And now can we stretch in front of us? Let's see who can stretch the furthest in front. Very good, boys and girls. And now we are going to sing the story time song. I know a lot of you know this song very well, but don't worry if you don't. All you have to do is listen and follow as I do. So can we all get our hands up together again? And can we all shake our hands on top of us very, very, very fast? And now can we shake it very, very slowly? And now can we shake it in front of us very, very, very fast? And now can we shake it very, very slowly? And now can we shake it to the left very fast? Let's see who can shake the fastest. And now can we shake it very slowly? And again, can we shake it to the right very fast? And now let's see who can shake even slower. And now can we shake it on top? Very slow and then very, very, very fast. Can you go even faster? Very good, boys and girls. And now this is how the story time song goes. Can we all clap our hands together? Open it like a book next to us. And can we clap it together again? And open it like a book next to us. And now, can we put our hands to our ears? And can we listen around the room? And now can we put our other hand on our other ear? And can we listen around the room? And now can we put our hand on top of our eyes? And can we look to the right? What do you see around your room, boys and girls? And now can we put our other hand on top of our eyes and can we look to the left? Let's look very closely. Very good. And this is how the story time song goes. It's story time today. It's story time today. Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you listening? Are you listening? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Good job, boys and girls. Now I think we are all ready to sing the story time song together, even louder with the actions. All right, so are we ready? Can we put our hands up together one more time? And can we all sing as loud as possible? And it's story time today. It's story time today. Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you listening? Are you listening? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Hey ho, it's story time and let's be on our way. Good job, boys and girls. I think you deserve a big round of applause for ourselves. Now, boys and girls, have you ever seen a giant in your life? No, I don't think any of you have seen a giant. I haven't seen a giant in my life before. But today I'm going to be telling you a story with a very big giant. So once upon a time on a little farm in England, there lived a little boy named Jack and his mother. Now Jack, he had fluffy ginger hair. He was very, very small and petite and he always wore a plaid shirt and brown pants. And Jack and his mother were very kind and generous people. Every single day, they would go to their neighbors' houses and they would help them to fetch water from the well. And they would go to their neighbors' houses and they would help them to cut the grass. And whenever Jack's mother was to bake a loaf of bread, they were sure to share it with their neighbors. 
Now, Jack was also a very helpful and kind little boy. Every single day, he would help his mother with the chores around their farm. He would help his mother to chop the wood in their farm. He would help his mother to cut the grass on the farm. And he would also help his mother to milk their cow who they named Bessie. And every single day, Jack would sing the song while he did the chores on the farm. He would go, Jack would chop and chop and chop. Jack would cut and cut and cut. Jack would chop and he would cut and milk the cow. Boys and girls, I think we can all sing that song together. So remember, to chop wood, you put two of your hands together. Can we all do this, boys and girls? And can we chop and chop and chop? And to cut grass, we use one hand and we cut and cut and cut. And to milk the cow, we use both of our hands and we milk the cow. Very good. And can we all sing it together very, very loudly? Jack would chop and chop and chop. Jack would cut and cut and cut. Jack would chop and he would cut and milk the cow. Very good, boys and girls. But even with all of this hard work every single day, Jack and his mother were still very poor. They didn't have enough money to buy more seeds to plant around their farm. And all they had was a little bit of wheat and so Jack's mother would bake a small loaf of bread, and that was all that they ate. Bread, bread, and more bread. And one day, the bread was running out, and there was no more wheat left to bake any more bread. And Jack's mother was so worried. She went, oh no, what shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? The wheat is running out. The wheat is running out. Oh, the wheat is running out. We need more money. Oh, we need more money. We need more money. Oh. And so Jack's mother, she thought, and she thought, and she thought hard. Boys and girls, can we think together with Jack's mother together? Can we all take our thinking finger up? And can we put it to our head? And can we think, and think, and think? And Jack's mother thought so hard, so she didn't know what to do. All of a sudden, she had an idea. I know what we can do. Oh, we have to sell our cow, Bessie. Now, Jack, go to the market today and sell our cow, Bessie, for some gold coins. And so, that's what Jack did. He put on his hat and he put on his boots. Can we all put on our hat and boots together, boys and girls? Let's get our hat in our hand like this. And can we put on our hat? and put on our boots. And Jack took the cow's halter in his hand and he left the house. And he began to walk and walk and walk all the way to the marketplace. And Jack would sing, a walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go, a walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. Boys and girls, let's all sing the walking song together. So let's all get our hands like this and let's walk together and... A walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. A walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. And along the way to the marketplace, Jack met an old man on the streets. And this old man, he had a head full of winter gray hair and a long white beard and he had some twinkling eyes. And this old man, he said to Jack, Good morning, Jack. Where are you going this fine morning? And Jack was so confused. How did that old man that he had never met before know his name? And so Jack replied, Well, I am going to the market to sell my cow Bessie for some gold coins. And that old man's eyes lit up when he heard what Jack said. And so he responded with, Oh, I have the perfect thing for a special kind boy like you. And that old man, he looked around to make sure nobody was looking. 
So he put his hand on top and he looked and he looked and he looked all around. Boys and girls, can we all look around together? Let's all get our hand up. Let's put it on top of our eyes and let's look and look and let's look all around. When the old man was sure that nobody was looking at them, he put his hand into his pocket and he took out a handful of beans. And the old man said, my dear Jack, I have three magical beans just for you. All you have to do is plant them in your garden and they will grow up, up, up into the sky overnight. And I will give these beans to you in exchange for your cow, Bessie. <gasps> magic beans? Oh, Jack was so excited when he saw those magic beans. And so he immediately agreed to the old man and he passed his cow Bessie to the old man and he took the magic beans and he put it into his pocket. And then he began to walk back home once again, singing the walking song. And he went, a walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. A walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. Boys and girls, let's all walk home together with Jack together. And let's all sing the walking song together. Are we ready? And a walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. A walking we will go, a walking we will go. Hey ho, a merry -o, a walking we will go. And when Jack reached home, his mother was so happy to see that he had sold their cow, Bessie. And so Jack's mother said, My dear Jack, how many gold coins did you get for selling our cow Bessie? And Jack was so excited to show his mother the magic beans that he got. And so Jack said, Mother, mother, I got these three magic beans in exchange for our cow Bessie. But Jack's mother was not happy at all when she saw those beans. And she said, Oh, silly boy, we need money, not these beans. And she began to cry. And Jack's mother went, Wah, wah, wah. Boys and girls, can we all cry like Jack's mother together? And let's see who can cry the loudest. Wah, wah, wah. Oh no, Jack was so sad. He did not mean to make his mother cry at all, but he began to run all the way upstairs into his room and he shut his door. And he was so angry at himself for making his mother cry, he took those three magic beans out of his pocket and he threw them out of the window. And he went into bed and he tried his best to fall asleep. And he began to toss and turn and toss and turn, and toss, and turn. Boys and girls, let's all toss and turn like Jack together and let's try to fall asleep. So let's wiggle our shoulders together and let's toss, and turn, and toss, and turn, and toss, and turn. And Jack finally fell asleep and he went <laughs> Boys and girls, can we all fall asleep like Jack together? Let's all put our hands together like a pillow and let's all make sleeping sounds together. And the very next morning, Jack woke up bright and early and he went, let's all yawn together like Jack boys and girls and to the left, he looked to the right, and he looked all around his room. But something was very strange that morning. Half of his room was bright and sunny as usual, but the other half was very, very dark and shady. Hmm, what was going on? And so Jack immediately stood up from his bed and he ran to his window to look outside and <gasps> Jack saw three magic beanstalks that were tall, 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 tall.
and they were all the way above the clouds. Jack was so excited, he immediately ran out of his house and he began to climb the beanstalk by hanging on to the leaves and the vines. And Jack went, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around until he reached the sky. Boys and girls, can we all climb the magic beanstalk with Jack together? So remember, we have to climb up and we climb around the beanstalk like this. So, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around. Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around. Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around until he reached the sky. And when Jack reached the top of the beanstalk, he saw a long winding road winding all around the fluffy clouds all the way to a big castle at the end of the road. And so Jack began to run all along that winding road until he reached the big castle. And when he reached the castle, a big door swung wide open and a giant lady with a big eye on the middle of her forehead appeared at the door. And Jack was so scared of that giant lady and so he tried his best to run away. But that giant lady caught Jack by his shirt and pulled him all the way into the castle. And the giant lady said, Oh, Jack, don't be scared, Jack. I'm sure a kind little boy like you would love a nice, delicious giant breakfast. And that giant lady sounded very nice and kind. And so Jack agreed to the giant lady and followed her into their kitchen inside the castle. Inside the kitchen, the giant lady gave Jack a tall glass of milk and a slice of cheese for breakfast. And so Jack, he took a sip of the milk and he took a bite of the cheese um, and he took a sip of the milk and he took a bite of the cheese um, and he took a sip of the milk and he took a bite of the cheese. Um. Boys and girls, can we all take a sip and a bite together? So let's all get our tall glass of milk in one hand and let's get our cheese in the other hand and let's take a sip of the milk and let's take a bite of the cheese um, and let's take a sip and a bite um, and a sip and a bite. Um. And Jack was so full after that big breakfast. But all of a sudden, boom, boom. began to shake with giant's footsteps. And the giant lady said, Oh no, it's my giant husband. Oh, there's nothing he loves more than boys on toast. I never should have let you in for breakfast. Um, quick, hide inside this big oven and make sure he doesn't see you. And so Jack, he quickly climbed into the oven and he shut the door and he waited inside and made sure he did not make a single sound. And all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. <gasps> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the flesh of the lips, old boy. Put him on toast and butter him up. He'll be my breakfast. I'll gobble him up. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. The giant had entered the kitchen and the giant lady was so scared when she heard her husband say that. And so the giant lady said, Oh, nonsense, dear. There's no boy in the kitchen. We've not had a boy for breakfast in years. Now, quickly, wash your hands and breakfast will be ready soon. And so that's what the giant did. He went into the bathroom and he began to wash his hands. And he sang, This is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands before we eat our breakfast. Boys and girls, do you think we can sing that giant washing hands song together? Let's all get our giant hands up and let's all sing, This is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands before we eat our breakfast. 
very good, boys and girls. And so the giant ate his gigantic breakfast. And once he was done with breakfast, he went into a giant treasure box and he took out a bag of gold coins and he took out another bag of gold coins and he sat down and he began to count the number of gold coins he had. And he counted one gold coin, two gold coins, three gold coins, four gold coins. Boys and girls, can we continue counting with the giant together? And five gold coins, six gold coins, seven gold coins, and eight gold coins. And the giant counted and counted and counted until he was getting so tired, he yawned. Oh, and he fell asleep. And the giant fell asleep like this. And when the giant was fast asleep, Jack quietly climbed out of the oven and he snatched a bag of the gold coins and he ran out of the castle and he ran down the giant beanstalk and he sang, a running we will go, a running we will go, hey ho Mario, a running we will go. Boys and girls, can we all sing the running song together and let's sing it very, very fast and a running we will go, a running we will go, hey ho Mario, a running we will go. And when Jack reached the bottom of the beanstalk, he said, mother, mother, Look, I have a big bag of gold coins from the top of the beanstalk. I knew it was filled with magic. And his mother was so happy to see the gold coins. And Jack and his mother were able to live off of those gold coins for a little while. They bought some new clothes, they bought some sweet jam, and they bought a brand new cow. But after some time, the gold coins were all spent. And so Jack decided he wanted to try his luck one more time at the top of the beanstalk. And so the very next morning, Jack woke up bright and early again and he went, ah, and he ran outside and he began to climb the magic beanstalk once again. And he sang, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around until he reached the sky. Boys and girls, let's all sing the climbing song one more time. And let's all get our climbing hands up and Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around until he reached the sky. And he ran all the way back up to the castle. And when he reached the castle, the big door swung wide open again. And the giant lady, she said, Jack, please, I can't bring you in for breakfast anymore. My husband is very angry because he lost a bag of gold coins. But Jack, he really wanted to try his luck inside the castle. And so little Jack said, Oh, but I'm so hungry. I can't speak until I've had something to eat. Please, please let me into your castle. And because that giant lady was so kind, she agreed to Jack and she brought Jack all the way back into their kitchen. And she gave Jack another tall glass of milk and a slice of cheese. And Jack, he took a sip and he took a bite. Um, and he took a sip and he took a bite. Um, and he took a sip. And he took a bite. Oh, boys and girls, let's all eat some breakfast together with Jack. Can we all get our tall glass of milk in one hand and our cheese in the other? And can we all take a bite? Oh, and can we take a sip? And can we take a bite? Oh, can we take a sip? And can we take a bite? Oh, and let's take a sip. But then, all of a sudden, boom. giant was coming back into the kitchen and so Jack immediately climbed into the oven once again and he shut the door and all of a sudden boom 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 the giant entered the kitchen and he began to sniff around the kitchen the giant went Boys and girls, do you all think we can sniff together like the giant? Let's all go. And 
the giant went, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the flesh of a little boy. Put him on toast and butter him up. He'll be my breakfast. I'll gobble him up. And the giant lady, she said, Oh, nonsense, dear, nonsense. We've not had a boy for breakfast in years. Now quickly, go and wash your hands and breakfast will be ready soon. And so that's what the giant did. He went into the bathroom and he began to wash his hands. And he went, this is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands before we eat our breakfast. Boys and girls, let's all sing the washing hands song with the giant together. And this is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands before we eat our breakfast. And the giant ate his big, big breakfast. And then he went off to get a magic hen that laid golden eggs. And he put the magic hen on the table and the giant said, Lay, magic hen, lay. Lay your golden eggs, magic hen, lay. And in that moment, the magic hen began to lay golden eggs. And the giant began to count the golden eggs. And he counted one golden egg, two golden eggs, three golden eggs, four golden eggs. Boys and girls, let's all continue counting with the giant together. And five golden eggs, six golden eggs, seven golden eggs, and eight golden eggs. And the giant began to count and count and count until he got so tired that he fell asleep. And he went... <laughs> And when the giant was fast asleep, Jack climbed out of the oven and he snatched all of the golden eggs and he ran out of the castle and he ran down the magic beanstalk. And Jack sang, a running we will go, a running we will go, hey how a merry oh, a running we will go. Boys and girls, can we all sing the running song together? Let's see who can sing it as fast as possible, all right? And a running we will go, a running we will go, hey ho Mario, a running we will go. And when Jack reached home, Jack was so excited to show his mother the golden eggs. And Jack went, mother, mother, look, I have these golden eggs and they are full of magic. I got them from the magic beanstalk. And Jack's mother was so happy to see the magic golden eggs. And Jack and his mother were able to live off of these golden eggs for some time. They bought even more new clothes, they bought some bread, and they also bought another new cow. But after some time, they ran out of the magic golden eggs. And so, Jack wanted to try his luck one more time at the top of the beanstalk. And so, the very next morning, he woke up very bright and early, and he climbed up the magic beanstalk again. And Jack went, Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around. Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around. Jack climbed up and Jack climbed around until he reached the sky. And this time Jack ran all the way into the castle and he made sure that the giant or the giant lady was nowhere to be seen and Jack quietly went inside the kitchen and he made sure to not make a single noise. And when he got to the kitchen, he quietly hid inside the oven and he quietly shut the door of the oven and he waited. And all of a sudden, thump, 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 thump. I smell the flesh of a little boy. Put him on toast and butter him up. He'll be my breakfast. I'll gobble him up. Bee, bye, bo, bum. Bee, bye, bo, bum. And the giant lady was so scared when she heard her husband say this. And so she went, Nonsense, dear. We've not had a boy for breakfast in years. 
Now quickly, go and wash your hands and breakfast will be ready soon. And so that's what the giant did. He went into the bathroom and he began to wash his hands. And he went, this is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands before we eat our breakfast. And he ate his big, big breakfast. And once he was done, he went off and he brought in a magic harp. And he put this magic harp on the table. And the giant said, sing magic harp, sing. Sing your magic songs, magic harp, sing. And in that moment, the magic harp began to sing a beautiful song. La, 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 la. Harp sang and sang and sang until the giant was so tired that he fell asleep. And the giant went, <gasps> Boys and girls, let's all make some giant sleeping sounds together. Let's fall asleep on our giant pillows and <gasps> And when the giant was fast asleep, Jack quietly climbed out of the, of the oven and Jack, he took the magic harp and he ran all the way out of the castle. But just as he was running, the magic harp said, Wake up, master, wake up! Quick, master, wake up! And the giant, he woke up from his slumber and he was so angry because he saw Jack running off with his magic harp. And so the giant began to chase after Jack. And the giant ran and ran and ran. And Jack ran and ran and ran. And Jack ran and ran and ran. And the giant ran and ran and ran. And Jack ran so fast, he climbed all the way down the magic beanstalk. And when he reached home, he immediately shouted, Mother, mother, quick, bring me an axe, mother. And so Jack, he took the axe with both of his hands and he began to chop, chop, chop. And the magic beanstalk swayed to the left and he went chop, chop, chop. And the magic beanstalk swayed to the right. Boys and girls, can we all pick up a big ax together with both of our hands like this? And let's chop the magic beanstalk together. And chop, chop, chop. And the magic beanstalk swayed to the front and chop, chop. Chop, and the magic beanstalk swayed behind and boom! The magic beanstalk fell down. And from then on, nobody ever saw the giant ever again. And Jack and his mother were able to live with the magic golden eggs and the magic harp that always sang and sang and sang. La, 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 la. and girls. Thank you so much for listening to the story of Jack and the Beanstalk together with me. And there is going to be a lot more online storytelling coming up after this, so please make sure to stay tuned. And you can also go onto our Instagram or onto our Facebook page to see any more updates with more storytelling sessions. And before we finish, let's all sing the story time goodbye song. So let's all get our hands up together one more time. And let's all sing the story time song together. Story time is over now. Story time is over now. Story time is over now. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. It's time to go. Goodbye, friends. It's time to go. Goodbye, friends. It's time to go. It's time to say goodbye.